Hello sim racers and welcome to this quick video about Dirt Rally 2.0 and how to fix uh, input binding issue with pedals and steering wheel. I have the Heusingfeld Ultimate pedals and a Fanatec CSW V2 wheelbase. And yesterday when I started the game for the first time, I went directly here into the input settings. Oh fine, there's already my Fanatec Club Sport wheelbase. Um, looks fine. There are my pedals. Okay. And, uh, oh, okay. What's going on here now? I just touched the brake pedal and suddenly the menu is jumping like crazy here. Okay. Uh, when I press the brake pedal again, I can stop this jumping and there's basically a quick fix of how to do it. It just took me a couple of hours, thank you very much for this Codemasters, to figure it out how to solve it. Um, basically what we want is, or what's actually the problem here is, that Dirt Rally 2.0 assigned the wrong controller pri profile to Mahoisingfeld's pedals. This is probably due to the issue that the pedals don't really have a driver, so Dirt doesn't know that uh, this controller input device are pedals. How to fix this uh, is pretty easy. Uh, okay, remember here we have the default bindings for a steering wheel. This is basically not what we want. You can erase all the bindings manually or there's another quick uh, um, procedure of how you can solve it. You right click on your pedals, load device presets this is the one that's current, currently um, loaded for this controller device and now I'm choosing the direct input. I say yes and voila, here we go. There are no bindings assigned so far. Now I can uh, assign the brake pedal, the gas pedal and the clutch pedal and I already released all my pedals. I hit apply and there is no weird jumping any longer off the menu. Okay, when I go back, it looks fine. When I go back to the main menu, it can be that the menu is still jumping like hell. Then you only ha just have to restart the game and it's fixed. That's basically it. Have fun and thanks for watching. Cheers.